Here's the other reason for the delay. One tends to forget, or I do anyway, just how much fun it is to play with Dir Direct X. Let's see now. What other kind of texture would I like to map onto my cup? <laughs> you know? Now, by the way, th this is using Direct 3D, obviously. There's no, uh, like, WM paint or any of that garbage, right? In fact, I might as well just cut that off. Where are we here? We'll just call that handle. It doesn't matter. You're you're drawing directly to the to the uh, to the device contact. Hey, why well, am wrong? It needs it needed the uh, it needs to be able to do a WM paint. How about that? Okay, call me a liar. But uh, th this here, this. Draw. It's supposed to be a function. This I'm doing on the time. On a timer. Um, the example they have. I, I'm going through the examples with help. And uh, the, what they have is in their message loop, uh, it does. Uh, like uh, my message would, but um, oh dear, um, um, and then following the get message dispatch and so on and so forth, then they then they they render the scene. So they're doing it like every single chance they get, whereas I'm only doing it on a bit on a timer. But it didn't seem to require. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, I, don't, I don't notice any. It, it's um, WM paint, so I have to go through. It seems okay. I should, if, if I get a WM paint, should I? Well, default proof there. Yeah. Fine. Uh, so I'm trying, you know, here I'm trying to find a good calm example. And, and I'm, I'm completely engrossed in this fun game. So it might be, you know, several weeks before I get to get around to doing what I'm supposed to do. But maybe I could do it, you know. Show you a, a couple things that are direct 3D uh, texture. Is. <laughs> I don't know. That's not what this is called. It's called D3 D test four. Um. No, it is using com. And uh, and I don't I, I didn't copy the examples directly. One of the great things uh, about the installation of that Direct 3D is I can get the help up instantly. The reason is because anything that has to do with Direct X it jumps to him right away. And never makes a mistake. Like you know, unlike the other thing, it's trying to figure out. Oh, well, does he want? Uh, you know, the the question is F 
open. Does he want the you know, GDI plus F open such and so this and that? But there's no ambiguity with uh, this stuff. E everything's right away. Yeah, just press press it into there. <clears throat> so anyway, so therefore, uh, I start looking at the samples. Well, no, it's not starting now. No, direct 3D9 is certainly more it's more in it than you're ever going to need. Uh, now one of the first things they mentioned here in the initial so I, all I've been doing is copying the, the snippets out of here into my files, right? Even though they're here. So here, all the, those samples are here. Uh, I prefer it to go wrong, and uh, and then I have to figure out why it went wrong. Okay, I see that. That shows you what you're supposed to get. And and so I, I, I get a better chance. There's a better chance that I'll see what changed between one version to the next. What's always changing mostly is this thing, uh, although it's custom, a custom type. Uh, pretty much every every program has to define define one of these custom types of vertices okay now so here maybe I should just put that should be colored maybe now a, a vertex everything in direct in the direct text land has to do with vertices a vertice, a vertex is a position on a triangle if you take a let me go to uh, let me go back way way back to uh, example one you want this one Now I made it bigger, I was, and I was going to keep it bigger, because I like a bigger size. But anyway, it should run. Okay, didn't work. Now that could easily be because oh because this this is this example zero this this just just uh, sets it up okay that's not the one I want I want this example this is where it actually does, finally does something Here, okay. Now they have a comment. I wanted to. I should have copied the comment in there. Here. I just don't want to co copy, paste, and run. You know, I want to still sort of have the illusion that I'm doing something on my own. That's, that's not the comment here. No. 
the software vertex processing. Now I know that this is a modern machine. I don't have to use software vertex processing. And I don't want to. <clears throat> so I'm going to put that comment in. Okay, but anyway, yeah, this should run. Now, see, and what this is that you are looking at is a triangle. Triangle. A triangle um, may be defined uh, as a collection of three points in the XY plane. True enough? Uh, each of those points is called a vertex. Alright, so that's how you define a triangle. Direct 3D is made up of, it's all it does is process triangles. Now, get out of there. Oh, because it's running or something. Oh, I know. Go away. Okay. Now, oh, there's another thing that has to be added. In line, well, no, I don't need that. Uh, okay, now this is math stuff, I don't care. This is my own stuff that I don't care about. I'm going to look at triangle. Okay. Math. Wind prop. Again, custom vertex. Here, uh, I know I worked out these coordinates myself. And the two, this is X and Y, no Z. There is a Z here, but it's always equal to uh, 0.5. RHW is something else that I'm not sure I understand. And then color. RHW means something. Uh, its meaning is important because because these have to be equal to one exactly for a specific reason. And notice there's a one here. So <laughs> it always works. It's amazing. Z zero to one. But Z here is point five. Stencil Okay, that has to do with Z. What's this? What's the? Where did I come from? Clear. Color. A D3D color. Which depends on the format. Uh, it could be alpha RGB, or it could be color value. Now it looks to me, oh, it's X RGB. What's that? Whoops. That's just RGB. But how many bytes is the whole thing? Initialize with blah blah blah. 
What's the X for? I want to see the definition. Okay. Alpha RGB. Okay, so it's four bytes with FF, right? So now going back to clear a color, a depth one. Clear the depth buffer to this new Z value. It ranges from zero to one. See the mark. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, now we may or may not have depth. But it says, to this new value, which is 1, and RZ is 0.5. Now Z remember this still is even though it's a 2D picture, it's using direct 3D, so there's an X and a Y and a Z. Um, this in this triangle is at Z equals 0.5 according to the according to these coordinates. Uh, if clear is going to fill with the color blue at or said up to to this new Z value from zero to one. No. Maybe Z is not Z doesn't go to infinity, it just goes from zero to one. Uh, and it must be going in. Otherwise otherwise we would be ahead we would be in front of it. It would be further out out than our view view, I think. Why do we want to change that to zero? Anyway, as I was saying, vertices. Now, for what I was doing before, two two D games, uh, we didn't do any of the three D stuff with these uh, this direct three D. Although we use direct three D because it supports alpha blending, uh, it works just as well. Okay, so there's no, there's nothing to be learned from that. Uh, now these here one. There's another comment that I left down here. Where's my new oh, That was the other project. I put that comment in the wrong project. Uh, there's another comment in here about lighting. Uh, like in the case of 2D graphics, uh, there's no lighting. You're not using the D3D lighting at all. You, you're just imagining that the lighting is the the, the, the surface, so it's the triangle, sorry, it's always triangles, that the triangle itself provides its own lighting. And that you you know they don't need you don't need to do that calculation. Otherwise everything turns black. I can show you that because that's what happens when you, when I went to this one. 
Maybe that's where it was explained. Because I didn't, it wasn't until I figured that out until I managed to get this one working. If I just copied and pasted it, I would have, it would have worked and I wouldn't have known why it was working. But I, I got the thing to do what it's supposed to do, it was rotating around. Tr just one triangle. But it was always black. And uh, I couldn't figure out why it was always black. And then I found, either here or in the previous example, the, the wording. This tells direct 3D that the, uh, ver the, the triangle provides its own color. So please do not use the color coloring. We don't, we're not using the lighting. 3D lighting. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. It's got to be in this text right here. Come on. I couldn't. I, it can't be something I found in here. Ah, here it is. It's it always in these little notes, and I keep forgetting to check. In, some, in other words, these vertices are also lit, meaning they are not using the TV lighting but are supplying their own color. Now, how, how, how do we know that? Because, because of these flags, right? Now, I, I didn't change those flags when I went in here. When I was supposed to. What's the difference? Vertices oh, What's the vertex type? Something color X, Y, Z, blah, blah, something diffuse and then matrices we have x, y, z there's no color he here 
That's what got it messed up on my YC. Yeah, what happened was I, I gave it this previous thing, right? So it thought the struct was in this format, which has an extra value here. So it wasn't that I, the idea was right. But the, col the color follows immediately after Z, whereas in this case, in this case it doesn't, in this case it does. So I was seeing these black triangles. Eventually I got it working. That's test two. Okay. Oh yeah, there it is. Now that tri we're not, that tri uh, triangle is the same triangle as it always was. And you'll notice that I'm, I'm resetting the angle. I think I don't know why. I thought Y was centered here, but it's not. So I don't have to reset it. Uh, that's just our same old triangle as, as defined in, in the last example, except I made it, I shrunk it so I couldn't figure out what was going wrong. The only difference is we're looking at it from different perspectives. Okay, now our perspective. Here's the triangle. Now this is in <laughs> this is in transformed coordinates. I see. I see. It's slightly different, and it's at z equals zero. The first triangle is at position minus one minus. Sorry, the first vertex is at minus one minus one. This would be uh, uh, you know, minus one minus one. I'll be there. The next is at um, one and minus one. So that'd be there, there. And then zero and minus one. No, zero and one. Here. No. X equals zero, y equals one. X equals oh I so so this way, this way. Was this shape minus one uh, minus one minus one one minus one x equals zero y equals one here so that there's your triangle right now. Why would we want that? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I forget. See, I should have I, I, I should have done this by hand. I gave up and I just copied it. Like why can't I use positive coordinates? Now here's this angle, and I'm rotating in Y, rotating at the viewpoint this way, and it's looking from a position Y, oh, y, that's why, because Y, the view position is more than my no, it's not. It's down. And Z is my. The I position is weird. Looking at the origin, 
But if you're looking at the origin, according to the triangle I drew there, right? Doesn't matter. The, if the triangle's here, like I said, and we're looking at the origin, which is here, and we're at z equals minus 5 into the page, and y equals 3 down here, and we're looking at 0 here, we're, well, let's we'll see a triangle at a slight angle. And our up, the upness of our view is um, some positive y. So this is our, if, if we imagine moving 5 back inside and being about here. Y equals three. Uh, minus five. No, but this is not transform. This is an actual. So I gotta learn all this stuff again. I never learned the three D part so so well. See, now once you get it, once you figure out all this stuff and set a way to view, then you need to um, define a viewport. It's like, I have a video that, that shows this perfectly. Hang on a sec. Okay, this is. <laughs> Again, James Burke, he's talking about a particular uh, guy. Let's turn it in there. See? When you, when you rotate this box so that it's such that it's perpendicular to the uh, position of view right then um, then whatever happened during that transformation it is applied to the view and then you paint it that way I guess. And that's what this, this, this thing does. Because the triangle is not changing its size. We're looking at it uh, from a strange position, strange angle and position. And our view our viewpoint, our viewpoint is at one, I think. The aspect ratio, then there's the near and far clipping plane, right? That's these two. So after a hundred. Now, these are perpendicular distances along that field of, you know, the, the line from your eye to where you're looking at. Uh, along that line, uh, you can measure distance and one. Here the, it's defined that one is the uh, the near clipping plane. So uh, that's that's the pers the, the the plane that that we want to render. Uh, and I don't know about the far, but I don't know.
we have to define to OIC IC. If you define this could be this last one could be infinity. But if the last one is is close close, very close, uh, then things that are you know things could get cut off. It would be like a, ca and a camera where the, you know you want to blur everything beyond a certain distance. Uh, so the far clipping plane would be not very far away. And what you would do, um, what the remainder of the image would, would just blur it or something. You would manually. Anyway. I'm sure I explained absolutely nothing there, <coughs> except what I've been uh, fiddling around with. And uh, I'll probably upload this to the random thoughts area and uh, maybe cut out some of my some of the more random of my random thoughts. See, yeah. now you can see. You can see the, the the madness taking effect. You know, it's amazing that it actually doesn't doesn't support GIF. I should take that out of the, out of the list. But I turned it on to hardware process. Oh, oh, and this is resizable now, of course. You'll note that uh, that that part is just simply a built-in feature. Uh, this cylinder is only made up of it's made of fifty triangles, believe it or not. And uh, as you can see. I can put any sort of graphic on top of it that I want. It's, uh, now this is purely a rotation about the x-axis. No. Uh, x rotate is the matrix transformation. Uh, now which way is that axis? This way. Uh, but the X plane. No, there's no X plane. There's a plane that's perpendicular to X. And that uh, Perpendicular to uh, the unit vector x, x being this way, that plane would be the z y plane. And is this rotating about the z y plane? Uh, z y plane, yes, it is. Okay, now y. Y is um, this way. So that's x, the x z plane, which is that and out of the page. That's correct. Z here, this is a rotation about the x y plane. Which yeah, it certainly could be, but I've got to stop it at the right. I gotta right here, hang on. When I have it on Y, just right here. If I leave it on this, restart. Oops. 
I'm start with zero and one. That's what I expect. Okay. So that is a rotation about uh, the xy plane, right? I mean, assuming the origin in the middle, we are looking at the origin. So that's the plane of the uh, window. And we're rotating about that plane, and that would mean that if it was a cup, it would just stand still. Or now that's y, which would mean x said plane. <laughs> so I don't know what that means then. Y, okay, rotation about uh, a line in the y direction. That makes sense. So then it goes around this way. So if I said x, so let's stop this. If I say x, it should just kind of rotate out and in. But it's not. It's doing an angular thing. It's almost there, but there could be a bug, of course. Probably a bug. Uh, separate x, y, and z, x, y, and z, and I'm maintaining those angles, I'm not resetting them. Is there an at zero? And uh, initial, I get the graphic, I get geometry. Create the text here, create the object, which is flat, but it's position, oh, I see, it's position is not correct when I, when I call init geometry, it creates it as it should, would have initially, in that case, I've got to reset all these things back to zero. It just, uh, this is one of the, the most fun games in the world. Not making games. Who cares about that? That's boring. But playing with D3D is fun. What? As a fun game. Okay, now if I do that, I think, at least I know that when I change Oh, but it's not going to do a nit geometry when I do this. However, if I stop that, change the graphic, <laughs> that'll set everything back to zero. That's good. Now I'm going to do X. And that's what I expect. Okay. That makes sense, right? Change the graphic, reset everything. And now we want to go about Z. Z is coming out of the. It's not a good graphic. For this. Um, I'm going to stop it and change the graph. What's wrong with her? You can use the same one. Just this one. Okay, Z. Z is not X and not seen X and Y. Z is going to be the other direction. X 
It went that way. Why it went that way? Z coming out. It's got to appear. Well, it's got to do with the thing. It doesn't. I don't know what it's doing. But when you know, it's ours that. Right? Anyway, see you.